welcome to infimath and in this in this series of video lecture we will try to find number of homomorphism between two groups and homomorphism can be different types so that like you can compute onto homomorphism one one homomorphism and isomorphism these are main three classes of homomorphism and in this series of video lecture i will try to cover all these three first thing you should understand that there is no general formula for computing homomorphism between two arbitrary groups certainly there are some classes of group in which you can find uh, some formula but there is no general technique or general formula which works in every situation actually the purpose of this questions are to test your knowledge about basic group their subgroups normal subgroups elements and some important theorems so we will start with some basic properties of homomorphism and we know that homomorphism is a function between two groups g and g prime which preserves its operation when f is a homomorphism between group g and g prime there are many properties which belongs to elements of g and g prime and many property belongs to subsets or actually here i want to say subgroups of g and g prime so the properties of elements are that identity always map to identity this is very important property okay if you find a map which does not maps to identity you can discard it it is not a homomorphism second property is f of g to the power n is equal to fg of the power of n this property is very important order of image of g will divide order of g basically i want to say that so if you have a image of order n let's say then only possible image will be the elements whose order are factors of n and next property is not very useful in finding homomorphism that is if you have if you take any element in the group another other group g prime and if you want to find its inverse image then you find its one image only one image and take coset with the kernel of the homomorphism and this is why in while solving system of linear equation ax equal to b we find a particular solution and we find all the solutions of homogeneous system of equation that is ax equal to 0 and we just add them and we find all the solutions of the or original system of equation ax equal to b this is actually due to this result that we find a particular solution take quotient with the kernel of the homomorphism because matrices are homomorphisms and if you consider vector space we know that vector space are also additive groups so you can think of matrices as homomorphism between those groups the set uh, ax equal to 0 is actually the kernel of the map induced by matrix a on the vector space rn now we will move to the properties of subsets and first important property is that it preserves cyclic and abelian property it means that if you take a subgroup which is cyclic then its image will be cyclic and another thing is to if kernel of f is n then the map will be n to 1 okay n element of group g will map to one element of group g prime okay suppose you have 10 element in g and you have uh, and the kernel is of 5 uh, say then only two element in g prime will map, map the whole group this is sure this is for certainly sure for that function so this is a 5 to 1 map five element are going to one five ele another element is going to one okay so there are only two image of that homomorphism another important property is that order of f h that is if you have a group h similar to order of element order of h also satisfies that so if you have a group h and you take its image under f f h the order of f h will be the factor of original h and the fourth point is direct and inverse image preserves subgroup and normality it means that if you have a subgroup in g then its image will be a subgroup in g prime and if you have a subgroup in g prime then its inverse image will be a group in g similarly if you have a normal subgroup in g then its image will be a normal subgroup in g prime 
and if you have a normal subgroup in g prime then its inverse image will be a normal subgroup in g in the context of direct image and inverse images we have seen that cyclic and abelian properties are preserved only by direct images not inverse images so you cannot say whether a group is cyclic in g prime then its in inverse image will be cyclic so abelian and cyclic properties are pro preserved by direct images only on the other hand subgroup and normality is preserved by both direct image and inverse image this theorem is very useful in finding normality for example consider determinant which is a homomorphism from set of all invertible matrices to the set of multiplicative group of non zero real number r star and we know that this group is abelian so if we take a subgroup of this r star then it will be normal subgroup in r star and when we take its inverse image then that will be a normal subgroup of gln r and for example and one simple case is to consider one that is identity only it will be a subgroup of r star and if we take its inverse image it will be a normal subgroup in gln r and we know that it has a special name and it is called a special linear group over r not only that if you consider plus minus 1 then it will be a normal subgroup in r star because group is abelian and we can take its inverse image then this will also be a normal subgroup in gln r and in general if you take any subgroup of r star then its inverse image will be a normal subgroup of gln r and these things are not easy to prove in directly suppose we consider the set of non zero rational number then it will be a subgroup of r star and it will be normal then its inverse images will be normal in gln r that is all the matrices with rational determinant will be a normal subgroup of gln r and last theory result is very important the if the cardinality of kernel of f is 1 if the cardinality of kernel of f is 1 that is the kernel of f has only one element then the given function f is 1 1 and this is very useful sometime you it will help you to find that the given function is injective bijective homomorphism that is isomorphism then in finding isomorphism this will also help you to find the one part of this that is 11